Hi, welcome to what's happening. Here are the top five stories. At number one, President Balatinubo will on Friday swear in Justice Kudirat Kekere Kun as the new Chief Justice of Nigeria. The special advisor to the President on media and publicity, Ajuri Ngalale, disclosed this in a statement on Thursday. He said the swearing in ceremony will take place at the council chambers of the State House in Abuja, the nation's capital. Justice Kekere Ekun will succeed Justice Lukayode Ariwola, who bowed out on Thursday after clocking the retirement age of 70 years. At number two, Owando PLC has completed the acquisition of Eni's subsidiary, Nigerian Argib Oil Company, for $783 million. The company announced this on Thursday in a statement by its Chief Compliance Officer and Company Secretary, Ayotola Jagun. The deal sees Oando, which is listed on the Nigerian Exchange Limited and Johannesburg Stock Exchange, take ownership of 100% of the shareholding interest in the Nigerian Argib Oil Company from Italian energy company Eni. At number three, bloodthirsty bandits have killed 13 persons on their farms at the Jua fringes of the Alawa community of the Shiroro local government area in Niger State. The local government area chairman, Akilu Isiaku, confirmed the killing of the 13 farmers in an interview with a local radio station in Mina on Wednesday. He said the bandits shot nine of the victims to death, while four others were killed at a different location the same day. Meanwhile, the Niger State Acting Governor Yakubu Garba has described the attack as satanic and callous. At number four, Kamala Harris accepted the Democratic presidential nomination on Thursday, telling a roaring crowd of supporters that she would chart a new way forward. Acknowledging that not all people listening were supporters, Harris said the November election against Donald Trump is a precious fleeting opportunity to move past the bitterness, cynicism and divisive battles of the past, a chance to chart a new way forward, not as members of any one party or faction, but as Americans. And number five, Real Madrid goalkeeper Thibaut Courtois says he will not play for the Belgium national team, while Domenico Tedosco remains as manager. Courtois missed much of last season with two knee injuries and was left out of a Belgium's Euro 2024 squad, despite returning to fitness and starting in the Champions League final for Madrid. The 32-year-old, who has won 102 caps, had a falling out with Tedesco in June 2023 after leaving the Belgium squad before their Euro 2024 qualifier with Estonia. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening.